Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be reviewing Cafe Chic by Beltras. This is not a new style, but this is a brand new color, brown sugar sweet cream. I have had my eye on this color. I don't even know how long. I love these short, shattered, razored edge kind of edgy looks they're right up my alley i i have rider which is very similar to cafe chic it just i i believe it's a little bit shorter i'll insert a picture up here for you to see cafe chic is minimal no no permities whatsoever we do we have a very low density if that is something that you like this is right this will be right up your alley you're not going to get any poof or anything like that on this one i personally love it i think it's so easy for every day and uh let me give you a quick spin and then we're going to go into the color because that is the highlight of this video is this brand new color from beltress so this is the front on the side now look how it is much lighter here than it is in the back. Nice movement, very easy to wear. This is heat friendly fibers. We have a left mono part and we have a lace front. All right, brown sugar sweet cream, brand new to the Beltress line. I absolutely love this color. We have, unlike many of the other of the Beltress in like Mocha with Cream or some of the other colors which have a very long root, Brown Sugar Sweet Cream does not have a long root. I would say this is probably, um, I don't know, a six or an eight. It's actually pretty light compared to some of my other my other Beltress and it melts into the, the rest of the fibers. So it almost looks, you know, when you take out a bag of brown sugar, the, the dark brown sugar, that's basically the color of it. And then what it melts down to is the light brown sugar mixed in with lots of ashy blonde, lots of golden blonde, and it, it just, it looks beautiful. I think the color is amazing. I think that Beltress just knocked it out of the park. If you like these, basically a neutral shade because you are getting that warm and you're getting the cool. They also did a very, lots of face framing with the very ashy color around the front. I personally like that, but I understand that not everyone does. All in all, I think that the color is just a beautiful combination. I'm going to insert some pictures. I did some side by side next to Mocha with Cream, next to Nutella Buttercream, and next to Shaded Cappuccino from Raquel Welch. I think that out of all of these colors, the one that this one, uh, uh, Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, it's closest to, I think it would be the Shaded Cappuccino. Nutella Buttercream, you'll see when I put up the, the colors, is that Nutella Buttercream it has more auburn in it, and Mocha with Cream is darker. It has a darker root, a longer root, and a lot more of the dark brown mixed in with just a few subtle strands of the platinum blonde or the ashy light blonde. It's very far and in between, whereas uh, brown sugar sweet cream has an abundance of it. If you are a brunette, this is going to be very blonde. This, you're going to take a look at it and you're going to say, wow, that is totally blonde. If you are a blonde, you may feel that this is a brunette. If that makes any sense to you, I'm kind of being adventurous here. So I'm wearing any color, you know, it's like, all right, bring it on. I'm going to try it. The only thing I, I don't think I'll wear is a yellow blonde. The lace front is done absolutely beautifully. I think that Beltress is, is just really doing a fantastic job 
with these lace fronts. They also have some new colors coming out. Wait till you see those. Oh my gosh, I am just waiting. I'm just waiting for them to finally launch. All right, let's go back to this one. I've got a very low hairline. I say it in all of my videos. And I don't know, maybe, what do you think? I should shave all of that? I don't know, because I only wear wigs. So my hairline is very low, and even though Beltress uh, runs an average to large, I still don't get the coverage. No, large wigs won't give me the coverage either. And what I do is I just try to match up my wig, my hairline, and my hair with some root powder to the wig. All right, let's see. What can we do with this? With this style, we can certainly wear it off the face and wear it that way. I've got a head, a square hairband here. You know, we, all of us that review wigs, we have to put in some kind of a headband. And that looks really cute. If you don't have the hairline problem as I do, you can certainly tuck it because this is so low density. You can wear it behind your ears. I gotta look in the mirror to see what I'm doing. Can you see you could wear it back if that's what you like. I think it's so cute. I love the style. And I think that if we add some of the Aesthetica sea salt spray, I think that we could just get it with a little bit more, add a little bit more texture to it. I haven't added anything, but if you'd like that real textured look, I think the uh, Aesthetica sea salt spray will be phenomenal on this. It hasn't been falling in my face too much. I do have some flyaways, uh, but you could train it back. You could steam it if that is bothering you. Cap. We have the creative lace, a left side part, very stretchy cap, non extended ear, uh, nape, I'm sorry, and the felt covered ear tabs. Most of the light fibers are really in the front on this sample. And then the back just seems a little bit darker. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope you've enjoyed this review of Cafe Chic in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Let me know what you think about this style and let me know what you think about this color. I'd love to hear from you. All right, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.